What's going on fellow entrepreneurs? John Fogger home again with uh, Metal Law Group. Today I wanted to discuss EDD audits. Um, I'm not sure if they're picking it up in California or not, but I'm starting to get a lot of calls about uh, what to do if there's an EDD audit. Well, first thing to do is cooperate fully because um, these guys have a lot of power, a lot more power than you would you would think. Um, and the, the person that you come into contact with is the one responsible for looking through your documents and deciding if they want to take this further. So I've been in situations where I thought my client had some issues, but uh, because of the relationship with the EDD auditor, it didn't turn out to be such a big deal. And then I've had other issues where, uh, or other situations where um, I thought my client looked pretty good, but because the auditor and my client didn't get along for some strange reason, it, um, uh, it became a bigger problem than it was. For example, I've had one auditor insist in the subpoena that my client show up, uh, which is very rare and very odd. And when I asked about it, um, she indicated that she wanted to ask some questions, some, que some, uh, some follow-up questions um, related to the documents that we had already submitted. Uh, and I still thought that was odd, so I said, well, give me your questions and, um, uh, and then I'll ask my client and, and we'll get back to you. However, my client said, no, no problem, I'll, uh, um, I'll show up. Uh, what I didn't know is that they had had a phone call previous before my client ever hired me, and in that phone call it had gotten pretty heated. Um, and so this, uh, uh, this auditor was holding a grudge. So we show up to the, um, to the subpoena, um, we walk into a room and there's three armed sheriffs in the room. It, it was absolutely ridiculous. There was no reason for a sheriff to be in there, there wasn't, or sheriffs to be in there. There wasn't any reason other than the auditor wanted to show the power that she had. So we walked in there and I said, well, this meeting is over because we're not gonna do this here under these circumstances. And that was that, but it just shows you the type of power that they have. Um, they can, um, they have a lot of power to determine um, uh, interpretations of things. Uh, when things can go either way, they have the power to um, accept or reject uh, certain fines, they have the power to um, give you discounts, and they have the power to give you uh, payment plans. So my suggestion is always to um, turn over everything that needs to be turned over, uh, put it in a way where you uh, front load the good things and you back end load maybe some of the things that may be questionable, um, and then you're just polite and respectful and um, you do your best to to uh, uh, to make your arguments and your points when there's something uh, that could be interpreted either way, but do it in a way where you're not going to cause a problem for yourself. All right, people. Until next time. See you. See you uh, in the next video. Bye bye.